taking a risk by telling you guys this story, but I'm in Lodi, so don't judge me uh, too harshly. But people are like, why do you want to leave LA? Like, why do you want to leave Sodom and Gomorrah? Because it's awesome. And, um, well, we have Christians. We had a meeting. Four of us showed up. And, um, well, six people, we like to judge and voted too often. And, um, but it's okay. The tide is changing, you guys. Caitlin's going to save us. Caitlin Jenner's going to save us. It's going to be good. It really is. I feel... I feel really strong about our political prospects in our state. If Kanye would just step up to the plate, I think... You know, I was really upset that Caitlyn Jenner was running for governor, and then my friend's like, you know he's a Republican. I'm like, now I'm torn. I'm emotionally... Yeah, I don't know. What's her pronoun? And, um, so I'm going to tell you a true story that happened to me three days ago. So my, my neighborhood in LA is crazy, and people don't leave their houses, and they're very... And I'm not judging somebody who didn't leave their house. But, like, my neighbor won't leave her house, but she'll text me, and I just moved into this neighborhood. So I bought my first house as, like, a single mom. I was so proud of myself. I bought it, and I closed escrow February 28th, 2020. Yeah. And I bought a house that was kind of a fixer. Because when you buy a house in LA, you have to give them your kidney and like your firstborn, and like, which is fine, I didn't like her. And so, um, so it was kind of a fixer. I was like, Lord. And so COVID hit. I'm like, but I still need a toilet in this house. And so we were like fixing up the house, and people were coming and yelling. And it was, it was, I mean, that was just me, but no, it was like really contentious. How dare you bring a toilet on this lawn? I mean, it was just terrible. So, but my neighbor likes me, and we were text messaging, and I was getting to be friends with her, and I feel like as a Christian, we want to witness people. You guys, I'm not a political person. I'm, I will never I will never tell you how I am politically, because I don't want to get shot. And so, um, <laughs> I'm in Lona. I might get a little close, but so, but any, because you know, in LA, like, you could be like, oh, I love Jesus all day long, but we're not going to judge you, and you're like, I'm kind of conservative. They're like, you're out. And so, like, I'm like, where are you getting these guns from, LA? Anyway, um, See, I told you it was edgy. Okay, so stay with me. So this neighbor is texting me for like six, eight months. She's texting me. She doesn't know what I do for a living. She doesn't know who I am. But somebody told her I had a podcast. And, have a, you know, uh, maybe they maybe they might have found out I was a person of faith. And I have a podcast with my daughter. And she was listening to it. She's like, you're hilarious. And she watched one of my comedy shows. She, I love you even more. I'm like, oh, I'm like... I'm establishing a relationship with her. Like, you know, maybe God will open up a door. You know, we'll get to be friends. So her husband is like a teamster. He looks, looks really scary, kind of like your pastor, you know? And so, <laughs> like, you don't want to meet him in a dark alley, you know what I'm saying? And so he, like, comes up to my garden. I was standing in my garden. This was literally three days ago. And um, I was standing with my, uh, I don't know what to call him, my children's father, I guess you could say. And so, um, and he lives in my garage, and that's not a joke. And so... <laughs> Stop. Stop. Okay. Anyway, he's a comedian, and that's what you happen when you marry for love and they have no car. That's what happens. You gotta marry for old money. Okay, so anyway. The guy comes up to me and he's like, I wanna talk to you. And I was like, okay. And he goes, My wife loves you. I'm like, thank you. And then he goes, Oh, she loves your comedy. And I was like, Yeah. And he goes, But she's really upset. She thinks she might be one of those. I was like, Oh crap. He's like, You know one of those like, what serial killer? He's like, one of those uh trumpers. You might be one of those trumpers. And I was like, uh, I, I, no, I mean, where'd you get that? I mean, that's what I, I love my pillow guy. I think that Mike Lindell is very good at selling pillows. And um, I, you know, don't want to kill babies. You know, I was like, I didn't know what to say. And I was like, and so I, he walked away. I was like, bye. I did not have a political statement to make. But I was like, tell your wife, I still want to be your friend. Like, you know, whatever. And so Ron's standing next to me. He goes, you're like Peter. I go, what? He goes, you're like Peter in the Bible. You denied Trump three times. <laughs> Trump is not Jesus. Mike Liddell is. <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson, maybe. They're going to come save us, both of us. But I just felt bad for the Republican Party. They don't have any, like, good role models. They have Caitlyn Jenner and Chachi from Happy Days, you guys. <laughs> Clint Eastwood, like, twice a year. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's got to be 